Hey guys, welcome to Let's Click Photography. I'm actually about to do some firmware updates on my cameras. The Canon 6D Mark II, the Canon 5D Mark IV, and the Canon R6 all need a firmware update. And I thought I would record the process because I know it can be quite daunting, especially if you've never done it before. Um, so this may prove to be of help to you. In terms of the process, it's the same across the board, but I'm gonna do the one whilst I'm talking to you guys on the Canon 60 Mark II, uh, the B-roll footage that you see, the footage that I put over the top of me talking may well be from the Canon 5D Mark IV and the Canon R6. Start off with what you're going to want to do is go to your Canon homepage uh, in your region. So here in the UK it is canon.co.uk. Uh, you just do a quick search for Canon in your region. Uh, and once you're there, you find the homepage and you're going to click on support. And then we are going to go and hover over downloads and help. And once you're there, you'll see an option for firmware so you click through to firmware and once you've done that you'll get through to the next page where you can start to choose your product you go to eos cameras which is down here or power shot cameras or whatever your product is so for this i'm just going to scroll down and i'm going to get myself to the canon 6d mark ii then i'll be met with uh the page for the Canon 6D Mark II, and you'll see an option there for firmware. And if you follow this process, that's already gonna be chosen for you. So as we scroll down, we can now see all the available firmware for this camera. Um, and I can see that there was a firmware update released in February of this year, which was firmware 1.1.1. So what I'm just gonna do quickly is check my camera. We go into the menu, um, and depending on which page it is for the camera that you've got on mine is page five of the settings on the 6D Mark II and then we can see that there is a firmware option at the bottom and that will tell you that I'm currently on firmware 1.0.4 right so now we've checked that we know we definitely need to download the firmware so we're just going to go over to the download button here uh, for this one i'm using windows so i'm going to download the windows version and i'm going to click to download that it will then ask me to agree to the software license agreement i'm going to do that of course and it will download as a zip file so once you've got that zip file downloaded we're going to open it up into the browser and i personally will move that to a new folder that I have on my system. I'm gonna extract the files from it. Now what you're gonna be met with when you click extract, it's gonna open the file up and you will have uh, a folder and a file, which is a .fir. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna to need to do with the camera is we A, need a blank memory card that is formatted to the camera that you are going to be updating the firmware on. So I'm just gonna format the camera, the memory card, done. Once I've done with that, a couple of other checks. One, I need at least half of the battery remaining. This is a full battery. And then I'm gonna switch it off. And I'm gonna turn the dial on the top around two. Um, and that is what you need to have that on in order to launch the firmware update tool okay so next up I need my memory card out into my computer and then I'm going to copy the firmware file which was that one that dot fir uh, right click that I'm going to copy it I'm gonna go into the root folder of my memory card. So with Canons, you get DCIM and um, MISC folders. Don't go into either of those. You just wanna go into the very top. So just click the memory card, the SD card. And as soon as that root directory opens, we're gonna paste it into there. So that's done. We then want to disconnect the and eject the SD card. Perfect, we're done on the computer. So now we've got our SD card and it has the firmware on it. Pop that back 
into our camera, close that up and switch it on. And now we're gonna be met with the P menu. Uh, we're gonna go into our menu and you wanna get into your settings and find the firmware option, which on this camera is in settings and tab five, firmware down the bottom there, and we're just gonna click it. Now, if you've done everything that precedes this properly, you're gonna be met with this. Current firmware version is 1.0.4 whatever camera you're on, update firmware. I'm gonna click OK. And once you get into the OK option, um, the touch screen will stop working, uh, certainly any time I've ever done it. So you need to use your joysticks and your OK buttons and stuff. So don't worry if your touch screen stops working. It's gonna load up the firmware update program. And once you're in there, you are ready to go. So it's going to say to you, please select new firmware version. As long as you put it onto your SD card properly, that's going to list that there. So I've got that. I can see that. That's an option. Like I say, can't use the touch screen. So I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to say, update the firmware from what you were on before to what you've got loaded onto your SD card. So great. I'm going to go across to OK. And I'm going to click OK. It's then going to tell you an update status. Um, and basically run through that firmware update. Okay, so when you are done um, and you move from 99% through to update is complete, it will tell you there, we're just gonna click okay. And it's gonna close down that firmware update program. You'll find yourself back in your quick menu. You click on menu and just check the firmware. Does that match firmware version 1.1.1? That matches the update. We are good to go. And the last thing that we need to do is go in, format our card again, get rid of that firmware that's on there and switch your camera back to whatever mode you shoot in. Your camera is now supercharged and updated, ready for your next shoot. I've been Dave, this has been Let's Click Photography. And for me, for now.